On today's collectible spot, yes, we are having a look at the Toki Doki Unicorno Series 2. The Unicorner are now back in a Series 2 blind box. On the front, it looks like we have four different Unicornos. Spot still was confused by the logo, but on the side it says Unicornos here, Series 2. These are $7.95 also, if you're wondering. Spot picked up three. Three. On the side, let's have a look at some of the Unicorno available. There's Sakuro, there's Caramello, Mario, Vandello, Zamba, Cheetah, Kali, Kaylee, Sunny Day, Bamboo, oh he's cute, uh, we have Sergeant Rubble, oh excuse me, Sergeant Rumble, Rumble in the Jungle, Rodeo, on the other side, nothing, artwork on the other side. On the back, the Unicornos were once ten little ponies that were out trotting and wandered into a magic waterfall. Passing through the waterfall, the ponies transformed into unicorns and found a hidden magical kingdom. The Unicornos live between the magic kingdom and our world. However, this is not a toy, this is collectible art. Spot was incredibly impressed with the first wave of Unicornos that I found. And uh, again, despite... Saw another series, picked up three. Now we know the story. Let's continue on with our journey. I'm going to open up the first box, like so. Inside, yes, there is a foil bag. The box is no longer needed. We just put that aside. Safekeeping out of the way. Bring myself in a knife. I got myself old red. I just happen to have her just here. I don't know why I would have a retracted blade just right here, but I did. That's all you need to know. Anyways, let's open this up, find out with the first Unicorno that we got. Interesting. This one actually is on. Let's zoom in here. It's kind of like a rocking horse. It's on like a little rocking ramp. The horn on the front, as sharp as ever. This one's got some handles on the side. That would be where the child or small baby seal would be able to hold on to the horse. What? Odd that you would have used a small baby seal. I know. I kind of went for I went for shock value. I want to pick something that you guys wouldn't have suspected. If I had said child, you would have already known. Saw that coming. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Rodeo. Rodeo. And on the side, there it says Toki Doki. Every time I see that, I kind of want to kind of think it says Okie Doki, but it's not. On the front, Toki Doki's logo. Pretty good paint, actually. That's a nice color. This one's got wings, too. I guess. No, no, they don't all have wings. I was going to make an assumption and guaranteed some of you was going to catch me on it down, down below in the comments. But no, this one is. Uh, this one has wings. Some nice coloring in the hair. Looks like it's got orange, red, and blue, and brown, but the brown's not as interesting. That was neat. It is neat. And it doesn't really rock. It is very top-heavy, though. I'm just going to put him right there, or her there. Let's see what other unicornos join. Is it a him? Rodeo? Could be a girl. Let's see which other ones join this unicorno on their journey. Opening up the next bag. Yes, my knife is required. Let's grab that. Just open that up like so. Reaching into the bag of obscurity, we got more interesting this one's actually really, really neat. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention their tails are movable. Uh, their heads are not. It's just a stack piece, staction piece. Very interesting design, though. This one, by the way, if I'm flipping around, this one is Sakura. Sakura. Some nice detail. Some nice Asian detailing on the side there. A nice white Unicorno. Uh, same wings. I would imagine same body, uh, aside from the fact that Rodeo's got, um, you know, the little ramp. I don't even know what you would call these, the little panels that allows it to rock. The rocking panels, I'm just going to call it that. Uh, same. 
the surprisingly the horn is still very wouldn't hurt yourself but it does have it's a good got a good point to it if you get the point got some flowers on the sides bottom it says Tokidoki LLC there you go and that one to the collection and finally let's open up the last one and find out which one we got to complete this trilogy You don't even have to say it, I know, Spot made a total mess of that box. The other one's open fine, I don't know why this last one gave me so much hassle, but putting that aside, just like so. Jane grabbing my knife. And the last one, ooh, look at this one, we got Cheetah. I'm guessing that is its name, yes, Cheetah, that is correct. This one's kind of got like uh, an interesting series of spots, kind of looks like a giraffe. But the symbols, I should say the spots, are made up of symbols. You can see that there's an a, there's a Asian face or some sort of female face right there. Another face there. That may or may not be a horseshoe. I might just be looking for some stuff. Tokidoki logos. Yeah, this one's neat. Same, same sharp, sharp horn. Yeah, these are very, very cool. So I got three of them. I'm very happy with my discoveries, my purchases, and therefore also my discoveries. I almost think of the three, this one's almost maybe a little too busy for my liking. This one is really, really nice, but I think I might actually like Rodeo the best. It's kind of got cute. It's just really, really cute, and he's got handles on the side, or she's got handles on the side, sticking out of its neck. I like it. I like it quite a bit. These are currently available in most specialty stores. Spot picked this up at a comic book store near his house. Uh, today's collectible spot, though, we're having a look at the new Tokidoki Unicorno Series 2 Blind Bagged Figures. Or, I guess, Blind Bag Horses. Certainly stick around, guys. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. See you guys next time.